ਜੇ ਯੂਟਿਊਬਰ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਲਈ ਕੁਝ ਯੂਟਿਊਬ ਅਪਲੋਡਿੰਗ ਇੰਟਰਨੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਸਨਾਟਕ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਪੁਟਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਅਫਰਟ ਫਾਰ ਸਰਵਿੰਗ ਅਸਨ ਸਰਵਿੰਗ ਇਨ ਆਲਸੋ ਟੂ ਨੋਨ ਵੀਅਰ ਐਗਜ਼ਾਮਪਲ ਸਜੈਸ਼ਨਸ ਬੀ ਐਨ ਕ੍ਰਿਟਿਕਲ ਐਂਡ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਡੂ ਨਾਟ ਨੋਟ ਦੈਟ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਫਾਰ ਟੂ ਪ੍ਰੈਜੈਂਟ ਫਾਰ ਮੋਰ ਦੈਟ ਆਰਟਿਸਟ ਕਮ ਫਰਮ ਦੈ ਸੈਗਮੈਂਟਸ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਬਿਜ਼ੀ ਵਰਕ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਐਡਵਾਈਸ ਔਨ ਸਪੋਰਟ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਜੈਕਟ ਸਕੋਰ ਸਬਸਕ੍ਰਾਈਬ ਨਾਓ ਹੈਲੋ ਵੀਵਰਸ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵੀਡੀਓ ਵੀ ਵਿਲ ਸੀ ਦ ਸੋਲੂਸ਼ਨ ਟੂ ਵੀਕ 5 ਅਸਾਈਨਮੈਂਟ 5 for the course digital image processing first question first question they have given two signals two signals x of n y of n x of n and y of n and uh, their uh, dft coefficients are x of n respectively are x x of k y of k so then z of k is the multiplication of these two dft coefficients x of k and y of k okay and uh, what is this is equivalent to what is this e- taking inverse inverse dft taking inverse dft of z of k what is this is equivalent to so linear convolution circular convolution correlation or none of this we'll see the so the solution to this is option b option b circular convolution option b circular convolution circular convolution option b second one determine the circular convolution of two sequence x of n and h of n 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay the answer for this is so the answer for this is and this is x of n circle 1 2 3 and this is h of n uh, wrongly mentioned here as x of 0 it is not x of 0 x of 1 and x of 2 it is h h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 h of h sequence h is h of n is 4 5 6 6 clockwise direction is in the clockwise direction now we will multiply the respective sequence positions so 1 into 4 it becomes 4 here this is the product this is the product cycle circle so 1 multiplied by 4 is 4 and uh, 2 multiplied by 6 is uh, 12 and 3 multiplied by 5 is 15 add this 3 will become it will become 31 4 4 plus 15 plus 12 is 31 and next what we will do is we just rotate counter clockwise direction the above circle so now it becomes 4 5 6 and then you take the product so 1 multiplied by 5 is 5 here and 3 multiplied by 6 is 18 here and 4 multiplied by 2 is 4 multiplied by 2 is 8 so add this 3 8 plus 18 plus 5 is 31 similarly the last one what we'll do is again shift counter clockwise shift counter clockwise one position one one shift okay another shift so now this will be 4 5 6 now again take the product so 6 multiplied by 1 6 multiplied by 1 is 6 then 4 multiplied by multiplied by 3 is 12 12 and then 5 multiplied by 2 is 10 add this 3 so 6 plus 10 plus 12 is 28 so the uh, y of the sequence yn is 31 comma 31 comma 28 answer is option c answer is option c third one which of the pair does form an orthogonal pair so we'll see this one so orthogonal pair so only the first one e power j 6 omega t dot e power j 2 omega t so if you integrate this product between 0 to t that is equal to 0 so this can be easily proved and others they are not zero others they are not zero hence the answer is option a option a fourth question for a given 4 cross 4 image u 4 cross 4 transformation matrix a what will be the transformed image v so we'll see the solution for this fourth one so fourth one the transformation v image is transformed image v equal to a a is the transformation vectrix u is the given image is the given image it is given and a transpose t a transpose t so first we'll try to find uh, the product of a into u a is given u is given so in the question they have given a and u say a is they have given a and th- this is our u 
so we will take for multiplication this is a and this is u if you multiply this we will get 10 10 10 minus 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 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 4 0 0 0 0 so now I, what i am going to do is i am going to multiply this this with a transpose a star transpose is conjugate transpose so a conjugate a conjugate transport will be the will be the same as a will be the same as the a so this and this are same this these two are same and if you multiply these two a if you multiply these two if you multiply these two you will get you will get a 10 minus 2 minus 4 our remaining elements are 0 so the answer is option b answer is option b so answer is option b 10 minus 2 minus 4 remaining elements are 0 is option b option b fifth question how does image transformation represent a given image so the answer is option b a series summation of a set of unitary matrix that is the basic definition so option b option b fifth one option b fifth one option b that is the definition for image transformation which of the following relation is true for one dimensional fourier transformation and this is also option b this is also option b sixth is option b so option b this is the fourier transform definition this is the basic fourier transform definition so this is option b this is option b and then seventh question what will be the kronecker product a kronecker product a kronecker product a and b a and b the kronecker product given matrix a and b so a is 1 2 3 4 b is 2 1 1 2 we'll see the solution for this one so the solution the kronecker product between a and b matrices between a and matrices how we will find this and this is how we are going to find the kronecker product so a11 b a12 b a21 b and a22 b where b is b is a b matrix b is a b matrix and this actually becomes a 4 cross 4 matrix 2 cross this a is a 2 cross 2 matrix b is a 2 cross 2 matrix and this becomes 4 cross 4 matrix 2 cross 2 2 cross 2 so this becomes 4 cross 4 matrix this becomes a 4 cross 4 matrix so we will get this uh, this is the solution 2 1 4 2 1 2 2 4 2 4 6 3 8 4 uh, 3 6 4 8 and the option uh, the answer is none option d option d option d eighth one what will be the basis image a 1 1 for the given 4 cross 4 transformation matrix a we'll see we'll see the solution so a 1 1 is the basis image uh, how do we find this one so we'll just take we just take here we just take the first column we just take the first column okay sorry sorry not first column uh, we take the second column we take the second column because this column 1 column 1 and we multiply this with the its transpose with the its transpose so 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 take this transpose take this transpose it becomes 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 and then multiply this uh, we will get uh, the answer as this one 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 minus 1 1 minus 1 1 option d answer is option d that is option d uh, ninth question statement the separability of orthogonal transformation matter reduces reduces the complex computational complexity from the order n4 to order 2 n cube it is true this statement is true second statement orthogonal transformation of image can be thought of an linear summation of set of orthogonal basis images where coefficients of linear summation are estimated by projecting image onto the orthogonal basis images this statement is also true so the answer is the answer is option c statement one is true statement two is true option c option c option c tenth question so tenth question we will see which of the following can be used as a transformation matrix so the the first option matrix a can be written as can be written as we can see can be written as this so it can be written as this so 2 power this e power j 2 j 2 pi by 4 can it becomes it becomes it becomes minus a it becomes minus j so similarly we can convert the all other elements so what we get is matrix a is 1 by 2 this these are the elements of matrix a so the solution for this is uh, a b and c all these three are 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 a transformation matrix because 
they will satisfy the identity matrix identity matrix so answer is the answer is all the above answer is answer is all the above answer is all the above all the above thank you